I chose the environmental studies program at Ohio University mainly because of the interdisciplinary nature of the program. I knew that the program would prepare me um, and met with many different skills from a variety of different departments on campus. Um, I had never really known or had any interest in water quality before I entered the program, but through Dr. Natalie Cruz and the work and the projects I've been working for with her, I've really learned a lot about water quality and become very interested in this as a career opportunity. I think what I found intriguing about the Voynich School that, that brought me to the Voynich School was the ability to bring my teaching and my research and my service all together in service to Southeast Ohio and the Appalachian region. But what I value most about the school is that ability to um, drive your work, you know, this great interdisciplinary body of work um, based on you know, the needs of the community around us to really be able to tackle the environmental issues that, that are affecting the community that we live in. I'm the director of the Center for Entrepreneurship. Within the center, we have organizations that range from high technology seed stage funding like Tech Growth Ohio, to the Small Business Development Center, and to the Procurement Technical Assistance Center, both of the latter of which work with existing companies in the region uh, to help them with business plans and uh, federal procurement opportunities. Every company that we work with um, represents unique student learning opportunities and when they leave OU they will have had a, a consulting uh, type of experience on their resume and they'll be ready to, to go to work. Global Cooling has a unique cooling technology that is particularly well suited to ultra low temperature freezers. We've benefited from working with the Voinovich School in a number of ways. Um, probably the most important is that Global Cooling has, has developed its technology for a number of years but finding the right application has been a challenge for the company. So the Voinovich School helped to develop a business plan that had the most chance of succeeding and was to have the most positive benefit in the community. So really that's the heart of what the Voinovich School have done for us is figure out a place where we can apply our technology that creates the most value. Every company that we help, every company that we build uh, has the promise of bringing jobs, uh, new products and services, and new student experiences to this region. The Masters of Public Administration program here at the Voinovich School introduced me to public policy issues in education, environmental reform. But my involvement through the Voinovich School and the OSEPI initiative really drove me to realize my passion for trying to influence public policy and affect the lives of Ohioans and possibly uh, underprivileged students throughout the state. The Ohio Student Education Policy Institute was extremely valuable for the students at Ohio University who were able to participate this year and the faculty that were able to work with that student group. It's rare that undergraduate and graduate students from across campus from various disciplines get to research and talk with policymakers and make policy recommendations that could really inform and, and change state policy in something that is meaningful for them and meaningful for this region uh, being college access. The experience really is diverse in the aspect that you can engage in whatever you'd like to because at any given moment, faculty and staff at the Voinovich School are involved in countless projects. The wonderful thing about being a faculty member at the Voinovich School is that it's an applied faculty position. So a lot of my work is on projects out in the 32 Appalachian counties and the state. So I get the best of both worlds. I get to teach, I get to do research and I get to work on real world projects that affect the people that I grew up with, my neighbors, my friends, my family.